Hello viewers, this is Revealing Light Tarot. I wanted to do a, a reading today after yesterday's reading on Paul Manafort um, uh, and my feeling that he would flip. Of course, the events of the last 24 hours have shown that he did. He has actually flipped um, and, uh, and he will be turning uh, over uh, state's evidence. He will be co cooperating with the Moolah investigation team. Um, his lawyer made a statement to say that what had motivated him was very much a desire to keep his family safe. Um, one of uh, one of our viewers, one of uh, the revealing uh, light tarot uh, network <laughs> that we've got here on this channel, actually did raise that. Um, I saw that uh, Manafort was uh, the uppermost uh, consideration in Manafort's mind was uh, was his family, and that it had to do with money as well. Um, one of our viewers suggested it may be the the. Um, the safety of his family, um, and of course, the lawyer saying that he was uh, he was wanting to keep his family safe, is really quite uh, uh, troubling uh, in in a lot of ways. Because what does that mean? Safe from whom? Safe from from Russia? Safe from um, the oligarchs? I mean, what does this mean? Um, We've done readings here on this channel um, to, that point to the actual, actual covert murderous intent of, um, of, of Vladimir Putin. Um, we've got to remember this is former KGB. Uh, if Manafort is even considering flipping, uh, it would, would be within the realm of possibility for the Russians to get to either Manafort directly or to his family. Um, it's it's really quite worrying, but the the um, so while I'm not uh, I'm not you know uh, I, I guess I have uh, uh, you know I mean Manafort like everybody else has has to they have to pay for for their crimes, um, and uh, and if he's broken the law then he needs to be prosecuted, uh, but. Having said that, he was the linchpin, I think, in this whole investigation, um, which is getting closer and closer to to, to Donald Trump. Um, when I started this reading, I did a little bit of uh, a little bit of channeling, and the images that I got uh, were 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 that of um, a female signing you know, lots of paperwork and lots of sign signatures that was definitely a female, which I I take that a female signing. I take that that uh, Manafort's family are also somehow involved in this um, in this deal in a in a legal sense. Now I suggested witness protection, who knows? Maybe uh, maybe there's some um, uh, something also to do with money as well. Um, but to me, I saw the legalities of his plea deal uh, panning out in, in my vision. Um, I also got a very strong intuitive sense that this, the what does this mean for uh, Donald Trump and co? It means that if, because uh, Man Manafort attended the, tr the meeting with the, uh, the Russians at Trump Tower in 2016, and after that, of course, the uh, the emails, Clinton emails, etc. You know the story. Um, that I think is one of the key aspects of collusion with the Russians. And and if Manafort if Manafort is able to bring evidence to bear that uh, they were actively colluding with the Russians, then I I think this puts um, Donald Trump Jr. and Jared Kushner um, right in the spotlight. For a couple of days now, I have had um, a lot of, um, I kind of like a lot of thoughts around uh, Donald Trump Jr. And I actually, that was who I wanted to read on today, had I not heard about Manafort. Because I feel that something's going to come down fairly shortly, uh, uh, the, uh, you know, with Donald Trump Jr. I feel that he may well be indicted. Um and along with him, Jared Kushner, and, I, and I've done a reading on on this in the past. Kushner is a lot seems a lot more arrogant at this stage than than Trump Jr. To me, when I see Trump uh, Jr., I see 
I see uh, the edges of worry. Like I see, I see really great worry and anxiety coming from him. And uh, just for the last 48 hours, I have, but not 48 hours, maybe 72, three or four days, I have not, you know, I have thought I better do a reading on Donald Trump Jr. because I just think something's coming down the pipe in relation to him. But look, let's uh, keep things simple today um, and look at. Uh, what does the Manifet um, uh, cooperation mean for Donald Trump? Um, the other thing that I saw was furious. Trump is absolutely furious. He's gone crazy. He's saying, what can we do? What can we hit them with? I've got all this power. Why can't I use it? Um, you know, put them in jail. You know, lock them up. Sack them all. You know, he, he's really completely out of his tree. I can't do him as well. I don't really want to be, you know, in his mind, but uh, I'm just seeing he's absolutely frantic at the moment. So back to Paul Manafort, whom I actually, uh, through all his wrongdoing from one human being to the next, um, he is, as I said, he was the linchpin. He was under incredible pressure. He had the full force of the Milner investigation upon him. Um, you know, he was the one, the target that they wanted to get. That's what they were aiming for and have been aiming for from the beginning. Um, and, you know, his life is over now. He's 69 years of age, I think. Um, you know... <sighs> His reputation's gone, the life as he knew it's gone, his wealth is gone. Uh, I read somewhere that $46 million in ill-gotten gain will come back to, uh, will be sort of repossessed. Um, and some are saying that's a win from the Mueller investigation because it covers the cost of the investigation. But anyway, for Manafort, uh, it just means total and utter uh, devastation. This is a... This is a this is a very hard fall and, you know, I don't think he'll ever, he's ever going to recover from it. Um, you know, fast forward a decade on, imagine, uh, imagine what his life's going to be. So, you know, I don't like to see anybody suffering. Um, you know, karma has a way of uh, coming knocking and it's certainly knocking for Manifet now. It will be knocking for Trump's children and Kushner and it'll certainly come knocking at Donald Trump's uh, White House door and I think in the not too distant future. But that's enough of me, of me talking. Okay. So we're going to ask what does the manifest flipping mean for Donald Trump? Trump. You know, I'm still getting uh, almost wanted to say, what does it mean for Donald Trump Jr.? I mean, that's how strongly that's coming through. But anyway, what does the manifest flipping mean for Donald Trump and his family? Okay, let's see. Okay, the King of Wands uh, is is definitely the, um, the 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 leader, the powerful leader, um, and uh, he's uh, he's sitting on top of his throne. His um, his wand is is pointing straight up in the air. He's got the uh, the power of intellect, um, and he is certainly in charge. And that's to me. Um, you know, no one can come near him now. That's not Donald Trump. That is Mueller. Mueller is in the box seat um, after getting, uh, after after uh, taking the linchpin, uh, that you know, um, I guess getting uh, Manafort to cooperate now has put Mueller in the box seat. Um, of course, these cards were going to come through um, and. You know, this is very much Paul Manafort right now and uh, I never like to see this card. I've had this card drawn for me in the past when I've been going through various dark nights of the soul. Um, and, uh, you know, and so I understand what, what position Manafort is in in every way, including spiritually. This is Manafort's dark night of the soul. 
okay, what's all this going to do? This is going to lead to equilibrium. Um, so those that are worried and concerned about the Trump presidency need to understand that this uh, this work by Mueller, this taking down of the enemies, um, well, enemies, these taking down of, of Russian colluders, um, is actually going to lead to stability for the US. Um, and you can see here that um, this, uh, this goddess is very much uh, balanced um, and balanced emotionally too. So while the country is really divided at the moment, um, uh, it may not always be like that. This, even though it may healing and div of division is some is some way in the future, it is definitely there. And if you think about it, taking tarot cards away for a minute and just looking at this logically, if you've got a stable leader in in charge, regardless of whether that's Republican or Democrat, if all this um, debris and driftwood and ugliness and uh, corruption is taken away, well, you know, managed and, and legislated against and um, cleaned up, if you like, as best it can be, and you put a stable leader there, the divisions that we're seeing now will, will go. So, well, not will go, but they will certainly be um, mitigated and lessened and there will be more balance restored. So in a way, Manifet very much has been the sacri you know, has been very much... Um, you know, I was going to say the sacrificial lamb there um, in order to to uh, get to Donald Trump. So I don't hold any... Sorry if that is glaring on the card. I don't hold any um, any any pleasure in the fact that, um, that Manifets now today uh, pretty much will, as we think, um, you know, he's facing significant jail time and has lost everything. Um... He's been very much the, the, the linchpin and the one they went after in order to get to Donald Trump and very much the sacrificial lamb for, uh, you know, he's the biggest and, the you know, the, the first biggest Republican operative to fall in, in the way that he has. Okay, so uh, the authoritarian um, uh, card has come up um, in... Uh, in, in, in the father um, and look this is uh, very much again about uh, you know if we look at the past being Moolah this is very much about strategic planning in order to get to get to Manifet um, and that I think has been pretty obvious um, pretty obvious in the coverage all along it's what we didn't know that mattered you know uh, it was all the behind the scenes things that were going on and this was very much about uh, strategic planning to take uh, to get to Manafort to get to Manafort to flip um, the King of Cauldrons um, okay the King of Cups uh, is coming um, up underneath Manafort's uh, card um, and uh, I I kind of, I, I'm kind of thinking that, um, you know, maybe this will, maybe Manifet's um, flipping and cooperating and what it will lead to may very well lead to more stable times for, uh, for, for America. Um, this is about, uh, about understanding. Uh, this is the card of understanding. And we're understanding what's gone on. We were, through Manifet, we will understand exactly what has gone on in the past um, and what will that understanding bring. Um, okay, it will bring... Um, it will actually bring... Um, I think it will cut away at, uh, at the secrets and it will bring secrets to light. So what does this mean for, for Donald Trump and, 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 and his family, uh, Donald Trump Jr., who's increasingly on my mind um it is it is it is very, it's a bold move um to have executed uh to to get a manifest to flip a very bold move move uh and i think as as time goes on we'll see exactly how what a what a important critical um uh, moment this was in the Mueller investigation but what that's telling us is that um that uh, this is going to be leading to 
um, uh, to 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 uh, th those secrets being unve un unveiled. Okay, the the Knight of uh, of Cups uh, is very much about the proposal that Moolah put forward. Um, uh, you know, Moolah's very much you know like the the Black Crow. Um, he's very much bent on change and changing um, the the corrupt system uh, as he saw it. Um, he's very much uh, bent on hell bent on. Um, uncovering Russian uh, collusion, weeding it out uh, and, uh, and, and uh, stopping it, stopping the Russian infiltration, the Russian collusion, potentially Russian attacks. Uh, certainly we know that they've been um, associated with the sonic attacks and there's a reading there on, on that of mine. Muller is uh, very much being concerned about uh, halting this in its tracks. Uh, and as I said, Manafort, Manafort is the, the key to this. Now, at the importance of getting Manafort to cooperate cannot be understated. I can see that right through this, this reading. Um, and here we have the High Priestess um, coming in, in Manafort's, uh, along with Manafort's, um, he, I think, I mean, the high priestess is about um, bringing the. It's about what's unconscious, um, and I think at once some level, Manafort understood. You know, I think he understood what was at stake. I think he understood that. You know, it maybe he was in over his head too. Um, You know, I I don't know what what was said behind closed doors bet between the FBI and Manafort and his team, but at some level there was an understanding of just how high the stakes were, and uh, you know that I think in some way uh, Manafort understood that at an unconscious level, he understood, and it could even be that that invoked in him uh, uh, you know the, you know when we make decisions as, as uh, at such a high level as what obviously was so much writing on it as obviously what Manafort was was considering um, he would be he would be considering a multi-level like multi reasons to to do what he did but on what this what this card reading is telling me that aside from the major considerations around his family, around uh, the money that uh, it was, co you know, that he was outlaying around the jail time that he would do, there was also something else that he considered, and it seems to me at the unconscious, subconscious level that may have been. I mean, I very, very much got sacrificial lamb uh, when I drew that ten of swords. And uh, that may have been he's made a sacrifice, um, and to me that's what I'm getting is it's to do with country. He may ha he may understand the danger that Donald Trump presents. Um, uh, we'll find out as as uh, as news and information comes out on this cooperation. Okay, the Five of Swords. I asked what it would mean to. Um, to, to Donald Trump and his family, um, and what what it what it will mean will be um, uh, he's going to lose everything. Okay, this this is the card of of theft and and um, and violence and uh, abuse um, and uh, you know. Um, I, I guess relationships turning on him. Uh, he's losing the battle here. He's lost. He, you know, th his power is going to be taken away from him. Interestingly, we have a young boy uh, who is bereft in this card. Is that you know? Are they? His, is, does that represent his children? Uh, very strongly, the sword is broken. Um, he, you know, he's he's been very, you know, overcome with grief uh, that he's lost the battle. The armies are are on the distant shore here. 
and he's got nothing left. He's got nothing left. So I asked the, at the beginning, what did this flip, uh, Manafort flip mean for Donald Trump and his children and Kushner? It means they're going to lose everything. Now, I just wanted to clarify this card in relation to Donald Trump Jr. because I just cannot shake that feeling that he will be indicted soon along with Kushner. Kushner, I don't know, you know, Kushner may have done a, some sort of deal. I'm just not getting the urgency and the grief and the, um, you know, that I'm getting with Donald Trump Jr. And I don't know why, but I'll ask, um, what does this mean? What does in the Manifold flip? mean for Donald Trump Jr. No oh, judgment. It means judgment for Donald Trump Jr. Okay. What is it going to mean eventually for, for Donald Trump? It means he's going to lose everything. What is it I asked directly, what is it going to mean for Donald Trump Jr.? And it means that he, there is judgment going to be around. And, and to me, this uh, this card means that he will be before the courts. And I my feeling is that he will be indicted. So uh, I'm afraid that um, for Donald J Trump Jr., that uh, he, he his legal team probably will have kicked into gear and they'll probably be making plans because I think that um, uh, that it's it's more than a wake-up call now it, for him. Uh, it means uh, it's finality and finality in this sense means that he, he'll be indicted. So that's what the Manifet uh, flip is going to mean for Donald Trump and, um, and, and his children. Um, and uh, I guess, you know, in summary, this will lead to manifests flipping, will lead to greater, eventually greater stability um, uh, for America. So we'll see what the history, how the history books um, will tell this story, but um, very, 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 very critical uh, time in the Mueller investigation now. The um, the kingpin has been uh, has has been um, taken out has has now is now cooperating and that's going to mean lo loss and uh, and judgment for uh, Donald Trump and you know my feeling is that uh, more immediately it's going to mean um, an indictment for Donald Trump Jr. and of course Kushner but I've just got this impression that Kushner may have may have been already talking to Mueller. We'll do a reading on that later on. That's all I've got for today, uh, viewers. I hope that was helpful. If we're going to remember an image from this reading today, take that image away from you. Greater stability in the future for America. Thank you.